Good morning. I'm going to be sharing this week with you uh, some devotions, but I've taken it to a little different uh, way of sharing. I wanted to share some of the lessons that I learned from memories around the Christmas season. So this week as I share, I will acknowledge the scriptures that have brought me to this point. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. As we've journeyed over the last nine months down an unknown road, there have been many times when our faith is what has carried us through. Life does not always go as we planned, and it took me back to a Christmas many years ago when I was 11 years old and my parents were the Corps officers and stationed in Guelph, Ontario. I watched as they were heavily involved in the Christmas season and many of you realize how much goes on over Christmas. The kettles, the hampers, the all the connections with serenading and community events. There are just so many things that go on. And so I knew how involved in that they were. And one of the other things that was really important was the Sunday services. And Christmas Sunday was a day that was very special to our family and to our faith, because that is what has us in preparation for the coming Messiah. And so my dad, he was a great preacher. And he got up on Sunday morning, and he wasn't feeling that well, but he knew he had something he had to do. He had to go and preach that service Christmas Sunday morning. He went, and he did his best. He was a really good speaker, and I've heard that from others. That's not just uh, my thoughts either, um, but he shared the Christmas the coming of our Jesus, of our Messiah. He shared that that day. And as soon as the meeting was over, he wasn't doing very well and the bandmaster drove him up to the hospital. Well, what they discovered was he had had a heart attack during that night and things didn't look good. It looked very grim in fact. And as a little girl who loved her dad with all her heart, our lives changed forever that day. He did recover to a point where he was able to do a lot. Uh, we moved to Toronto so that he could be on sick leave. Then he had an appointment at our finance department. And for a number of years, he hung in there. And probably about nine or 10 years. Um, but that Christmas, I'll never forget. It was something that you just don't expect to happen, not to your daddy. Um, and so that Christmas, so what did I learn from that? Why am I sharing something like that? I'm sharing that because what did it say in Proverbs? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Well, there were many positives that came from that time arrangements were made for us to move to Toronto and my dad got the help that he needed physically and he was well looked after and there was a family that lived not far from us that were involved in the core at the Toronto Temple downtown Toronto where the Eaton Centre is now and they came and met with us and they picked my brother and I up every Sunday morning while my dad was unable to go and took us to Sunday church. They also made arrangements to have us involved in the youth activities at the core. And we soon felt that we were, we belonged, that we were part of something, but because of their gift of kindness, we felt that we were important and loved. That meant the world to us. There were so many acts of kindness that really showed us God, God's love in action. 
And a little sidebar from that is I met Doug there and we entered the training college a number of years later from that core, that core that became very special to each of us. But how did that fit in with what I'm speaking about today? How did something that wasn't a positive have so many positives? It's because we have that faith and trust in our Heavenly Father. And are you willing to trust in times when we have the uncertainty of not knowing what the future holds? We don't walk these journeys alone. Life certainly gives us challenges, doesn't it? And the answers aren't always what we hope for. But having a faith and a trust that he knows best can carry us through. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, today we come before you thankful for the lessons that we learn. Sometimes it's through things that have gone in a different direction than that we would hope. But we just want to thank you for the positives that come if we look for them. Help us to keep our faith and our trust in you and help us to know that you are in control and you are right beside us. In thy name we ask it. Amen and amen.